we're going to look at four ways of deleting triangles from a scan. If you select delete and you haven't chosen any triangles to delete, it will say that you've made an error and you have to first have your selection selected to be able to delete them. So use one of the selection tools. The brush is a good one. Hold down the control key and select the triangles that you're going to want to delete. Once you've selected them, they turn yellow. And so you can see what you've chosen and then you just choose delete. This cannot be undone. So you have to confirm that you intend to lose those triangles forever. Press continue and it will delete those triangles. So you can see that the triangles and the associated texture have been deleted. Next one we're going to look at is delete isolated triangles. It's not active because you need to go into the scan parameters and decide how many isolated triangles you want to remove. You do that by sliding the slider and it will select progressively select the small unattached um, floaters, if you like, around your, your object. And once you've set a certain number, they are highlighted in red and you can see them here. And then your tool to delete these isolated patches becomes available to you. And you just click on the, uh, the second tool in the, in the toolbar, delete isolated patches, and it will remove them. And you can see that the isolated patches have been deleted. The next function is to delete targets. If you click on positioning in the navigation pane, you will see both your stick on targets and your natural targets. The natural targets are in blue. Stick on targets are the first listed. And if you select, you can see that there's a couple of stick on targets here and you can select them and they will turn yellow to tell you which one is which. So for instance, target number four is probably bottom left and target number five is in the middle there or vice versa. Yeah, four was in the middle. Okay, so we can choose the targets and we can delete them one by one or in multiple selections. You can select the target cut targets either in the list and multiple targets, or you can actually select them using one of the surface selection tools. So you just hold down the control key and select around the targets you want to delete and it appears as selected in the list. Once you're happy with your selection, select delete targets and they will be deleted. As you can see, they've disappeared and the surface underneath them has been filled in both with shape and texture. The last function is delete all natural features. This object was scanned using targets, geometry and texture. And when you use texture, it creates natural features. These are these little blue circles that you see all over the um, uh, object. Now they can only be deleted en masse. You cannot select one or two. You just have to delete all of the natural features. So use it carefully as a tool, but click on all delete all natural features once confirmation and it will then remove them. So you can see that all the natural feature targets have now been removed.